Today we are photographing a property and we are flying the Mavic Pro right now to get the footage. So if you guys are new to real estate photography, um, there are two different kinds, well there's multiple kinds of real estate photography. You can shoot a house, you can shoot an industrial building, commercial building, or you can shoot property. And so today I'm shooting property. It's about 85 degrees outside so the drone's going to get a little hot. So I want to do this as quickly as possible. So basically the first thing I'm going to do, first thing I did when I got here was find the property. I walked down to where it's at and right now, okay more, we're good, back. All right, so right now we're just connecting the drone to the controller. Super simple. This should be a pretty simple job. All right, here we go. Now we just gotta take photos. Go up as high as possible. I always like to start out by getting the highest possible view of whatever I'm shooting. Remember in most areas you fly in, uh, maximum flight altitude is 400 feet. Right now I'm at 55 feet, so we're pretty good. I'm gonna start taking some pics. All right, so now I gotta send a photo to the client to see if this is the kind of thing that they want. So we're gonna bring it back down. All right, now I'm gonna bring it down. So we did that, now I gotta take some screenshots of the photos to send them off to the client. This is the smartest thing to do while you're at the property is to actually take screenshots of the photos so you can send them to your client so that they can see what you're kind of seeing and what you're looking at so they get an idea of if that's what they want or if they want something different. So right now I am just waiting patiently for this to go to the playback mode so that I can review. I'll be right back. Okay, so the client approved the shots, which means I'm going to fly back up and take some more and take as many as I need to until, uh, until we're good. Like I said, it's hot outside, so the drone batteries are uh, not too happy. So bright outside, it's hard to see. Now, they didn't say how many photos they needed, so I'm just going to be taking as many as I think are uh, necessary. Oh, it's so hard to see. It's so bright outside. So right now I'm just trying to get a bunch of different angles of the property. Um, I don't know exactly what they want. They didn't give me any reference photos. So right now I'm going based off of what I see. Um, so this is the property area. I don't want to get too far over because the property, there are like multiple properties that are going to be built. So I wanted to make sure that I get the right property. So I'm actually flying over a lot of the area right now uh, just because I want to be sure that I capture the right spot. And this is uh, with property, I have like a, a map to go off of, but this is still a very complicated type of thing to photograph because I didn't get a lot of information on it. We're gonna go down more. Tilt up. Get it down in the valley. Shoot up, straight up at where the property is going to be, which I assume is right here ish. But we'll tilt over this way a little bit as well. And then we'll turn it around real quick. See the city and the view. Downtown Los Angeles. And then what I want to do now is get some straight over the top shots. Just a couple more of those. These don't, typically these jobs, you don't need like 100 photos, you know, you just need like a certain amount. And what I'm going to do is actually take wider photos so that they can crop in to find their, uh, their spot. So I'm running on low battery right now, so I got to quickly do this. We don't need that many photos. I've got about 20, 25 photos for them. That should be plenty. For just a property, there's not a whole lot you can do. And that's how you make a quick hundred bucks. Let's go back home and edit these things.
Oh look, a flock of birds is flying by now. Now this flock of birds has decided to fly through my flying zone. Thank you guys for waiting until I was done. I appreciate it. You guys are the best. Please continue on your pattern. Enjoy your day. All right, we're gonna get out of here. We're gonna go edit these photos. I'll see you guys back in the house. All right, so it is a couple hours later. I went to the gym and worked out and I ate some food. So now we are going to edit these photos right now for the client because I like to get the photos to them as soon as possible. It's just better that way. So we're gonna open these up in Lightroom and then we're probably just gonna use a preset. Um, we gotta find something we like. These are for marketing purposes, so you want them to kind of look nice, but they don't have to be like oversaturated like this or anything like that. It doesn't need to be like artistic, like you you just want it to look decent. And one problem I had here was that the grass was brown and like ideally you would want it to look green so i want to look for something that's gonna you know help that green come out a little bit so we're gonna use my graffiti preset i like the way that it makes those colors pop and now i'm gonna tweak it a little bit because i don't think it needs to be that intense it doesn't need to be that vibrant um but this is uh basically just a property shot and the thing is i want them all to face the same way so we're going to flip this and then we need to actually flip it again, flip it horizontally because that's the way it was. We're going to copy and then we're going to basically paste this onto all of our images. And then we got these photos up the hill. Look how brown that is. It's so brown. I can't believe it. So again, these don't have to be like the most epic beautiful photos you just want something that's gonna look nice and you that the clients gonna want to share so yeah we just go through these and we edit them that's pretty much it so that's how I made a quick $100 with drone photography today and uh, typically we want to shoot for things that are more than that but uh, this was kind of a favor for a friend he's trying to get in with a client so Sometimes you got to do stuff at a discounted rate to get your foot in the door and so this is kind of my way to do that So yeah, hopefully you guys see more stuff like this. Thanks for watching and I will see you guys in the next one Stay strong, keep enduring and go crazy